What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a raffle. So you guys already know that the weather was all screwed up and I didn't post any videos last week. I know, it felt like forever for me too. Um, but now I'm ready to start on the Civic again. I have not touched it. I have not done anything to it. So tomorrow I'm gonna go buy a gun so we can start painting again. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take that trunk off and we're gonna start doing some weight reduction. I know I said this before, but look how nasty rust -Oleum gets. This has been about a week without it being washed and you can already see that it is pretty dirty. rust -Oleum is a paint that needs to be cleaned constantly if you don't it starts to get really nasty you guys got to take care of it if you want it to last so i said weight reduction out of the trunk right i'm gonna show you guys right now what i mean here's my trunk i'm gonna pop it open i'm gonna remove this whole webbing that's in here and I know it's gonna be a lot of work and I'm only gonna lose about a pound or two out of this uh, webbing that's here. But remember, I did take stuff out of here. I took a lot of stuff out of there. We are gonna remove this back plate that's right here. And it's all gonna add up. All this little pound here, pound there, pound everywhere, it's all gonna add up. When I first got the car, I removed, I threw it on the scale and I removed, I think I believe it was like 130 something pounds. I might be wrong on this, but it was 100 and something, like in the 30s, I believe. That's a lot of weight to remove. So if I keep it up and just keep taking off little here and little there, it's all gonna add up and we're gonna have a lot of weight removed. Um, as soon as we get this car started that we get the engine back in and it's running we're gonna take it over to the scale and we're gonna figure out how much the car weighs and how much it, it was supposed to weigh and with that we'll know how much weight we've lost so far so this trunk right here so we have this section right here this is what makes the trunk go up and down right so what i'm planning is on leaving some of this section just so i can still have this right here and it could go up and down underneath we can see where this goes it goes to here and the other one goes to the other end over there when we cut this plate out we're gonna go ahead and leave that whole section that way this trunk opens and closes. These things right here, these work with the trunk. So basically when you pop the button over by the seat, this is what makes the trunk pop up. You don't have to have these. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. It's not really a lot of weight out of this. This thing probably weighs nothing, but a little bit of nothing here and a little bit of nothing there it adds up to something so we're gonna remove this this thing also and basically after I remove these the trunk's not gonna pop open on its own so I'm gonna have to wedge something underneath a button that's by the by the seat over there maybe my wallet maybe the phone every time I want to open the trunk that way it leaves the latch open and I could walk around and pop it open afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all these lines. I'm gonna disconnect this guy. This guy is the one that 
that makes it trunk to my brake light, to my reverse lights, to all that stuff. And to my license plate lighting. So I'm gonna remove that and then we're taking this trunk off. I went ahead and I cut the little thing that I had right here and the one that I had here that would hold the cable in place. And I pushed all the clips that look like this. There was one here, one here, one over here. I unplugged the tail light. I unplugged uh, my license plate light. And I'm starting to pull everything through here. And then once I pull everything out, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy off, which is the wire to unlock the trunk that goes up to here. All the wires are out. I have them all right here. I'm just gonna let that rest in there. And now we are ready to remove these guys. Let me go ahead and put you guys down so I don't drop this guy and cause any damage to my glass. This trunk's got some weight to it. Just pretty heavy, to tell you the truth. Now that I got the trunk off, I can show you guys how these things work. They're sort of like spring activated, but it's really this thing right here that's making it go back up. So if I push down, let's see if you guys can see this. You see it moving? If I let go of it slowly, you guys can see how it wants to like slam up. You guys can hear it. It's got some power to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these guys and take them off. So we got our trunk set up right here and I took a marker and I went ahead and I marked. So basically right here is where the piece is that holds it that holds the trunk in place, that spring activated piece, right there and right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna leave this whole section to reinforce this. I'm gonna cut it here, but I'm gonna go around this piece right here that's attached right here to reinforce it again and then cut it all the way up to here. Therefore leaving this whole little section behind so I could hold the bracket right there. And the same thing on this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this whole section out up to here. So basically I marked like this, I came down and then I'm going pretty much across and back up. And we're just gonna remove this center piece right here. Once we get that out of the way, we'll go ahead and figure out what sections down here we don't need and which ones we want to keep. Before we begin, I brought a scale out here and we're going to go ahead and weigh this guy. So it looks like it's at 25, 26 pounds around there. Let me spin the camera around, see if you guys get a better view of it. Yeah, like 26, 27 pounds, something like that. I'm gonna wear some sunglasses for eye protection. 
I don't have any gloves, so I'm not gonna be using any gloves. So just be very careful when you guys do this. And there's no power. All my cuts are done. I cut everything all the way around. And I started moving stuff around with the screwdriver just to be sure that it was nice and free. The only thing holding this together right now is the glue that's right under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe get a wire or something, and slide it under and start cutting that away. There it is. It's looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to remove some of this stuff that's up here. I'm not sure whether or not I wanna cut this piece off. I think I'm just gonna let that be right there, this little chunk. Um, yeah, but it's looking very good, very promising with the weight reduction. Look at my box. I'm gonna get this marked up and then we'll figure out what we're cutting and what we're saving. All right, so I went ahead and I marked. I'm continuing my cut this way, like this, up to the latch. At the latch, I'm gonna go up and cut this way, cut around the latch, and I'm gonna go up this high because there's like little spots right here where it's welded. You guys can see the little dot. That way it'll keep this guy kind of strong. Um, there is three other spots that are welded over here that I'm gonna have to hit with the grinder and just continue all the way around and do the same thing right here. Get those three little spots off and this whole skin should just peel off. All right, so this is what the trunk looks like. We still have our mounts right here. So we can bolt that guy back on there. Um, let's go ahead and throw it on the scale and find out how much this thing weighs now. You guys are not gonna believe this. We are exactly at 15 pounds. We lost about 10 pounds right now. 10 pounds we took off. I am super happy 
with all the weight that we just lost I wasn't expecting to lose 10 pounds on here and there's still more that we can take off I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, paint and paint all that bare metal any kind of a paint it doesn't really matter this trunk still needs to get painted so this is just so we don't have any rust building up on here I went ahead and I used the can of Rust-Oleum that I had and I just bombed the whole thing. It doesn't matter on the inside to me because it's gonna be hidden once you close the, the trunk. But I am extremely happy with all this weight we took off. So now I think we're gonna call this a video right here. Get this uploaded so you guys have some content and I might continue recording on the inside of the car now i'm gonna go in there and start cutting away some more stuff so i'll catch you guys on the next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later